Hey you, and welcome to Bardom. Bored you want to hear a story? You've come to the right place. Okay, so today's story that I'll be doing, I'll be telling, is part two of the Grimm's fairy tales, uh, uh, Hans and his wife Gretel. <sighs> kind of like Hansel and Gretel, only completely unrelated. Okay, so last episode that I did, um, focused on Gretel and a little bit about her story and a little bit about her character. Today's story that I'll be telling, Hans in Love, uh, focuses on his story and his character. I gotta tell ya, he's really cute, but he can be kinda dumb. Um, he just does some things that are completely outside the laws of common sense. I think. Maybe. Um, but still, I think you should. it's worth hearing his uh, about, I think it's worth hearing about Hans. So without further ado, Hans in love. I hope you enjoy. Once upon a time, there lived a young man named Hans, who was very much in love with Gretel, who we met in the last episode. Now one day, Hans was going off to meet Gretel, and his mother stopped him and said, Hey, Sonny, hold on a sec, where do you think you're going? And Hans told his mother, Oh, I'm going to see Gretel. His mother asked him, So are you bring her any presents or anything? And he says, No, nah, no. Nah. I'm just gonna go see her. And the mother says, okay, you won't behave yourself. And off Hans dashes down to town to uh, see Gretel. To see his lovely Gretel. Now they, the two of them meet. Um, they probably exchange greetings and kisses. And at the end of that day, um, Gretel asks, so, did you bring me anything? And he says, no, no, I'm sorry, I didn't. Um, and she said, oh, that's all right. Well, um, here, take this, uh, take this needle. I'd like you to have it as a token of my love. And Hans goes home and somehow along the way he ends up throwing the needle in a haystack. For what purpose, I'm not sure. <laughs> so he goes home to his mother and his mother asks him, so did Gretel give you anything today? And and Hans says, oh yeah, she, she gave me this needle. I threw it in a haystack. His mother looks at him and says, a haystack? Why would you throw the needle into the haystack? You should have put it into your sleeve so that way you wouldn't lose it. And he says, oh, come on, Ross, don't, don't, don't berate me, please. I, uh, I know it was stupid, but, but I'll do better tomorrow. So away he goes for the night, and uh, the next day comes, and he goes out to see Gretel again. <sighs> Once again, his mother tells him, behave yourself. He dashes off to go see, to, goes to see Gretel. They exchange greetings and kisses, and <sighs> that day, Gretel ends up giving him a knife, even though he doesn't have any presents for her still. <sighs> well... Somehow his mind seems to be working on a, something of a Fibonacci sequence. So he takes the advice um, that his mother gave him about uh, the pin, and he puts the knife through his sleeve. So he goes home that day, and his mother asks, So, did Gretel give you anything? And, his, and, he, and, and Hans says, Oh yeah, she, she gave me this knife. And the mother says, Oh, a knife, where is it? So he takes it out of his, his sleeve, and his mother looks at him and says, why would you put it in your sleeve? You should have put it in your pocket. Ah, foolish son. Now I have a, uh, now I have to sew up that hole in your sleeve. And, and Hans just tries to excuse himself and say, Yeah, I know that was kind of stupid of me now, come to think of it, but, uh, but I'll do better tomorrow. So the next day comes around, and once again, Hans goes off to meet Gretel. And this time, Gretel gives him a kid. Like a billy goat kid. And, well, as I said, Hans needs to be working on something in the Fibonacci sequence. So he takes the go goat, somehow manages to fit it into his pocket, and when he goes home, unfortunately the cord got tied around the goat's neck a number of times, and, well, there's no goat when he goes home, or no living goat. And his mother asks him, so, did, ha did, did Gretel give you anything today? And he says, oh yeah, I, she gave me a goat, I put it in my pocket. His mother looks at him and says, how do you even manage to fit a goat into your pocket? And then he takes it out and, and they realize that it's dead. And the, the, the mother berates him and says, come on son, you should have brought it home on the cord that you had with you. <laughs> and, and Hans just says, ah, oh, come on, I'll do better tomorrow, I promise. So the next day comes around, um, and he goes off to see Gretel, and this time, Gretel has a piece of bacon for him. Well, 
he ties the cord around the piece of bacon when he's going home. And I don't even think he makes it halfway home before a dog that's been following him for quite a while. Well, the dog gulps down the bacon and, and has a nice tasty treat, leaving nothing for Hans. So he goes home and realizes that he has an empty cord. And his mother just shakes her head and asks, So what did Gretel give you today? And he says, Oh, well, you know, she gave me a crust of bacon. Or a bit of bacon. And his mother looks at him and says, What, son? You should have put that on your head. Not dragged it home behind you like an animal. He could have put it in his pocket, but you know, linty bacon doesn't really taste that good, I'm guessing. I don't speak from experience, but... Um, pocket linen bacon, that just doesn't sound like a good combination. Anyway, Hans just tries to excuse himself, the next day comes, and this time, well, this time, Gretel decides to give him a baby cat, cow, a calf, and it's really cute. But the following scene that unfolds, not so cute. So just take a moment. Hans has taken his mother's advice for every for the wrong present at the wrong time. Last time, his mother told him to put the bacon on his head. And what does he do this time with the calf? Well, he ends up with at least a black eye and certainly a hoof print on his face. <laughs> so when he goes home, his mother takes one look at him and says, what the hell did Gretel give you today? <laughs> and he says, Yeah, she gave me a baby calf. It was really cute, but I tried to put it off my head like you told me to do with the bacon and it kicked me in the face and scratched me and now we have no calf. <sighs> His mother looks at him ashamed and says, Son, you should have put it on a leash and brought it home uh, and put it in the stable with plenty of hay for it to feed on. And he says, yeah, you know, that, that, that sounds actually very logical. I, I really should have done that. Oh, well, but you know, I'll do better tomorrow. Tomorrow's another day. Uh, YOLO. If anyone still uses that, I don't think they do anymore. Anyway. So the next day comes around. Hans goes off to meet Gretel. And this time, Gretel is done giving him presents. Or any material presents. This time... Gretel is going to give him something super special. She's going to go home with him and meet his mother, or see his mother. I want you to take another second. His mother told him to, to, to rope the calf and bring it home on a leash and put it in the stable with plenty of hay. This is what happens to Gretel. He puts the leash around her neck, brings her home, ties her up in the stable, and gives her plenty of hay. And then Hans goes inside to see his mother and say hello. So this time his mother asks, So, did Gretel give you anything today? And he says, Oh yeah, actually she came home with me. And his mother says, Great, wonderful, where is she? I'd love to see her. And he says, Oh, well, I put her in the stable. I gave her plenty of hay. She, uh, she should be happy. His mother takes one look at her again and starts braiding him so badly that he runs out, A, to apologize to Gretel, and B, um, find company in Gretel because she'll make him happy, right? Well, yeah, Gretel is nowhere to be found, really. You see, she got kind of mad at the whole uh, being tied up in a, in a stall with hay. Um, she just got upset about that. So somehow in her anger, she ripped her bonds off and got loose and ran away. I don't know how long it was that they didn't talk, but they ended up getting back together and ended up being quite happy for them. <laughs> they, uh, they actually ended up getting married. So that's it for this episode. As I said before, there's, uh, there's one more episode that follows after this one. And that's Hans and Gretel put into one story and under one roof. Things happen. Gretel's clever and Hans is just Hans. <sighs> but as I said, that's a story for another night. Um, so I do hope that you enjoyed this story. 
let me know what you thought of it. Uh, did you like it? Did you hate it? Anyway, wherever you are, have a good day, have a good night. Anyway, bye!